Hi, I'd like to introduce to you Cellate Therapeutics, a new company and new technology with the potential to transform the way we treat blood disorders. Our mission at Cellate Therapeutics is to develop new cell therapies for hematological and immunological diseases using hematopoietic stem cells, improving patient outcomes and overall quality of life. Our technology can induce proliferation of isolated hematopoietic stem cells or HSCs in the blood and transform these essential cells into a therapeutic product providing much needed treatment to patients with blood disorders. This technology holds great potential to become the new standard for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. We've already begun development of our products in the U.S. and will be targeting FDA approval. CellAid was founded by a team of scientists and business specialists who have a long history of translating academic innovation into business opportunities. Our technology was born out of years of research by Dr. Hiromitsu Nakauchi, now at Stanford University, and Dr. Satoshi Yamazaki at the University of Tsukuba in Japan. The most widely used source of HSCs is bone marrow. However, this source comes with several underlying issues. Finding a donor with a matching bone marrow type or HLA match to the recipient can be difficult. The donation procedure itself is a heavy physical burden on the donors, and the greatest detriment to the use of bone marrow is that the recipient often experiences severe side effects. There is another source of HSCs, cord blood. It's available cryopreserved at blood banks and can overcome many of these issues. Cord blood is also more tolerant to immune rejection, and there's greater flexibility with HLA matching when compared with bone marrow. Can cord blood, as is, address all the issues encountered with bone marrow? It's not that simple. The number of effective HSCs is too low, which means a lower rate of engraftment, often resulting in failure of the transplant. If we could just increase the number of HSCs for transplant. Proliferation of HSCs outside the body has been a continuous challenge over the years, but CellAid has met this challenge with breakthroughs in expansion technology. By combining our technology with the use of cord blood, we can eliminate many of the issues faced by patients and greatly improve outcomes. So what is this technology? It's made up of the unique recipe of growth media and the associated culturing techniques. We're able to produce high quality cells with no genetic modification using a media that is chemically defined. This provides other downstream benefits. It's also a platform technology, so it's not limited to a sole source of HSCs. We currently have two patents under review in Japan for the media components and culturing methods, which are transitioning to the international phase. Our greatest advantage over competitors is our target specificity. There's a narrow fraction of functional HSCs essential to restoring bone marrow. Our technology can target and expand this fraction. Our unique combination of multiple active agents replaces serum albumin, and we eliminate most, if not all, cytokines. Our competitors do not have this capability. We've chosen leukemia as our primary indication. Why have we chosen leukemia? On a global scale, looking at the many blood disorders out there, products targeting leukemia are among those with the greatest need worldwide. By 2028, the leukemia therapeutics segment is expected to grow to more than $28 billion. To meet the needs of this growing patient population, we've devised two business models. Our first is the made-to-order model. When there's a patient in need of a transplant, HLA types are matched through the National Marrow Donor Program. CellAid would then order this matched unit to be released from the cord blood bank and delivered to our CDMO. The cell product would then be manufactured using our technology and delivered to the clinic for patient treatment. Our second and ultimate goal is our off-the-shelf model. We plan to create our own expanded HSC bank to reduce time of delivery to the patient. One reason we plan to pursue the off-the-shelf model is to address medical inequality in the U.S., particularly in the African-American population which commonly has difficulty finding HLA-matched donors, hence the lower success rate for transplants compared with that of Caucasians. We can target HLA types that are more common in this population and stock them in advance, essentially creating a cell bank that is specific to ethnicity. 
Currently, we're generating preclinical POC data in Japan, but we'll be transferring the technology to a U.S. CDMO with subsequent preclinical safety assessments to be initiated by the end of 2023. Our primary target is blood cancers, but future targets include inherited diseases such as immunodeficiencies. We also plan to explore the gene therapy field for further applications of our technology. If you'd like to learn more about CellAid and our technology, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching.